But that was when the man noticed something else. The wolf was a female, and her teats were full of mulch. This meant that she had recently given birth, and that somewhere nearby, there was a den full of hungry cubs waiting for their mother. From the canine's appearance, the man guessed that she had been trapped for a few days, knowing that the cubs would need to be fed soon if they were to survive, and that he couldn't get the mother free to go get them, the man decided to search for the pups instead. He began to look for any tracks that might lead him back to the mother's den. Fortunately, there were still a few remaining patches of snow on the ground, and after several moments, the prospector spotted the paw marks on a trail skirting the bog. The tracks led him through the forest, then up a rock-strewn slope. Finally, after making his way up the slope, the man found the den at the base of a huge spruce tree. Four tiny wolf cubs began to cautiously emerge from the den. The man looked them over and guessed that they couldn't have been more than a few weeks old. One by one, he placed them in a burlap bag and headed back down the slope. When he entered into the clearing where the mother wolf was, she immediately spotted the man and stood erect, possibly picking up on the scent of her young. She let out a high-pitched whine as if she knew what was in the sack and wanted to be reunited with her babies. As the man released the cubs, they all raced over to their mother and began to drink the milk from her teeths. The man watched them, happy that he could reunite the family. With the mother wolf distracted feeding her young, the prospector tried to move closer to them, but the female canine's eyes immediately snapped back to him and she began to growl threateningly. The man was at a loss as to what he could do next to help the trapped animal. With her young to protect, she became belligerent and would bare her teeth whenever the man tried to creep towards her. The prospector thought over his options and came to the conclusion that, just like her babies, the mother wolf was probably hungry. She wouldn't have been able to go food searching if she had been trapped. In addition to helping her, the man made the decision that he would have to find her food in the hopes that she would begin to trust him as well. He made his way across to the creek when he noticed a dead deer's leg protruding from a snowbank. He cut off a hindquarter and made his way back to the wolf. The animal's attention was clearly on the man as he entered the clearing again, as if she knew that he had something for her. The man cut the meat up and tossed chunks of venison in the wolf's direction. She sniffed them, then gobbled them up. Once all of the food was gone, the man fashioned a rough shelter for himself and soon fell asleep. At dawn, he was awakened by four fluffy bundles of fur sniffing at his face and hands. He glanced towards the agitated mother wolf and started to come up with a plan on how to help her. If he could win the animal's trust, then he would eventually be able to set her free. Over the next few days, the prospector divided his time between prospecting and winning the wolf's trust. He talked gently with her, threw her more venison and played with the pups. Little by little, he kept edging closer to the adult wolf although he was careful to remain beyond the length of the chain. The big animal never took her dark eyes off of him, but as the days went by, she seemed to get more and more calm in his presence. At dusk on the fifth day, the man delivered the mama wolf's daily meal of venison when all of a sudden, the cubs bounded over to him. Even though the man had won the trust of the young wolves, he was beginning to lose hope of ever being able to help the mother canine. Then suddenly the man thought he saw a slight wagging of her tail. Deciding to take a risk, he moved within the length of her chain. The wolf remained motionless. After getting within eight feet to four meters of her, the man cautiously sat down. He was so close that one snap of her huge jaws could break his arm or neck. Determined to help, though, the man wrapped his blanket around himself and slowly settled onto the cold ground. It was a long time before he fell asleep, but eventually unconsciousness took him. At first light, the prospector was awakened by the sound of puppies nursing. He leaned down and gently petted them, which made the mother wolf tense up. She didn't take any further action, though. The man gently placed his hand on the animal's hurt leg, taking this as a positive indication. Now that he was closer, he could see that the trap had only caught two of the wolf's toes, meaning that she should be fine if he could get it open. The man quickly found the release spring and opened the trap. As soon as the mother wolf was free, she jumped away from the trap and began to lope around, getting used to being able to move again. Once free, the mother wolf cautiously approached the man and sniffed him. She gave him a single lick and then turned around and began to limp off into the woods with her cubs. Before disappearing completely, she turned back around to the prospector, as if asking him to follow her. 
The man complied and slowly trailed behind the small family. For a few miles, they ascended Kupinov Mountain until they reached an alpine meadow. There, lurking in the forested perimeter, was a wolf pack. The man counted nine adults and, judging by their playful antics, four nearly fully grown pups. After a few minutes of greeting, the pack broke into howling. It was an eerie sound, ranging from low wails to high-pitched yodeling. That night, the man set up his camp on the edge of the meadow. As he sat by his fire, he could see numerous wolf shapes dodging in and out of the shadows. However, he was not afraid, as he knew that the animals were only curious of him. The next day, the man knew that it was time for him to leave. He packed up his campsite, and all the while the mother wolf watched as he did so. As the man reached the far side of the meadow, he looked back to see the mother wolf and her pups were sitting where he had left them, watching him. The mother wolf then let out a long, mournful howl before disappearing into the woods with her pack. Four years later, the man returned to the creek. It was the fall of 1945, and after the horrors of the war, it was good to be back among the soaring spruce and breathing the familiar, bracing air of the Alaskan bush. The man came upon the exact same trap that he had previously liberated the mother wolf from as he was strolling down the creek. It was still there, just where he had left it years earlier. The prospector experienced an odd sensation upon seeing it, and something drove him to ascend Kupinov Mountain in order to return to the meadow where he had last seen the wolf and her young. The man called out a long, low wolf call once he arrived in the meadow. Amazingly, an echo was heard on the other side of the gap. Then he noticed a black shape traveling slowly in his way in the distance. As it crossed the meadow, he could see it was a timber wolf, and he knew at once that familiar shape even after four years. The wolf edged closer. He has erect, body tense, and stopped a few yards off. Her bushy tail started wagging slightly, and then moments later, as if she had never been there, the wolf was gone. The man smiled at the amazing thing that had just happened, before turning and leaving the meadow. Although he never saw the animal again, he was always reminded of her. Comment below and let me know what you thought of the story. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fantastic material. Thank you.